guys. Um, for the longest time, people have been asking me to do a nail polish collection video. I did do one earlier this year, but if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that unfortunately, in January time, I accidentally deleted 100 videos. I then went on a bit of a rampage and deleted tons of videos that weren't so great. Um, I've still left a lot up that weren't so great, but I had like, by this point, I probably would have about 650 videos. So you can see how many I have deleted over the time. Um, since January and it just all started with accidentally deleting a massive amount of new videos which was devastating. Um, so one of the videos that I'd recorded and was up around that time was my nail polish collection. I actually collected them together and did them in a completely different way but I'm just going to show you how I stored them and if you've got any questions you can let me know. There's too many for me to kind of go through and say this is what this was called, this is what this one's called. So I'm just going to kind of show you them. If you've got any questions um, then I might kind of gather them together and make a whole separate video on your FAQs for my nail polish. Um, but it's going to be an absolute nightmare to name them all. And they're not even all where they're supposed to be. So I'll just kind of show you because otherwise I put it off and put it off until it's an easier way of doing it. And I don't think there is an easy way of filming this video. So I will show you now. Okay, this isn't actually all of my nail polishes. There's some behind me and there's some in a box down here. In here I have um, all my MUA polishes and my kind of cheaper... I don't know if I can lift it enough for you to kind of see in there. A whole box full of nail polishes. I'm not going to go in there. If you want me to, I'll make a separate video, but I'm just going to show you what I have on display. Um, so these are the OPI ones that I have at the top. I think there's a couple missing that might be in my bedroom, maybe. Um, then we have Nail Zinc and a random 17 one and 2 true one on the end and um, some model zone. Lots of people ask me what these are. I don't know if you don't get them in the States. I don't think you do, but I can only imagine they're the people that are asking the questions. Um, then I have some Essie and some Deborah Lippmann. I absolutely love this, which is Razzle Dazzle. This is what I got in my glossy box in December. And if you see, that's a full size Deborah Lippmann, which has always done that. It separates terribly. I bought this because it's called Waking Up in Vegas. And this is when we were going to get married in Vegas, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you look at the size of the big one, but, like compared to the small one, it's a really, really generous sample size. And um, Sesh Feet, which I think is dried up now, but I stopped using that when I discovered that it can cause like prenatal problems and whatever, and then we were starting to try for a baby. So I stopped using that and it's dried up. Um, some random MAC polishes that I've got there. I only ever buy from MAC if it's a really special polish. Again, that one's separated and gone funny. Um, if it seems like really, really special, these are from the Venomous Villains. Absolutely love those, but I hardly use them because, for one, they're all glittery and they're difficult to take off. Even with the uh, tinfoil thing, it just, it just seems like a lot of hard work compared to normal opaque colours. Um, and for another, I don't want to waste them. I don't want to use them up. This is the Gosh Holographic that a while ago everyone was talking about. I actually got that in the sale, amazingly, because it was sold out everywhere and no one could get it, and it was uh, limited edition. And I managed to pick it up in the sale, randomly, yeah, in Medawall. Um, they're the Barry M Nail point Paints, which I used to have absolutely tons and tons of, um, but they're probably the only ones that I've ever used the most of that I could potentially have used up. Um, and then this is a new addition. I thought this was going to be better for nail polish than it is. It's a spice rack that I brought from eBay um, and it's not amazing. So I've just kind of shoved some nail polishes in here that um, were kind of scattered around the base here. Some misguided ones, I think I got those from magazines. Um, C8 Pate Pot, which I think was from a glossy box. Sally Hansen, this is the top coat that I choose to use. The reason that I do is because I got it for £1.99. Has it got a label? There you go. I got it for one ninety nine in a cheap shop near me, and I think it's still like six or seven pounds in boots. But they've stopped selling it in the shop that I go to, so I don't know what I'm going to replace it with because I'm not really willing to pay six or seven pounds for a top coat. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Some miners nail polish. Again, I've got a lot of miners nail polish in that box. If you'd like me to go in the box in another video, um, my only nail art pen. More too true, and a pixie that someone sent me. Sinful colours I actually really like, and again, that was from that cheap shop near me really like those. Um, my only China Glaze, which is for Audrey, that I got from eBay, uh, which is supposed to be like a Tiffany blue. W7, another random Barry M, more W7, too true. Leighton Denny, which was a very, very nice colour, but took forever to actually get to this colour, because it was so gloopy and horrible. And all the more expensive nail polishes separate, what's that all about? Um, more sinful colours. These are amazing. I don't know if I'd pay full price for them, I probably would. I think they're about six pounds in boots, but I got these again from a cheap shop near me because they're discontinued colours. This is the one I have on my nails right now, which is Delphinium. Absolutely incredible, but my favourite one is definitely this casting call. 
this is rubbish this is camellia and it's really really thin consistency it's not opaque at all and um, some rimmel ones which i love this one peppermint really really nice and these two i think i'm still yet to use these again i bought these from the cheap shop near me love the color of that i mean it's got like this gold i don't know if you can see but it's kind of got a gold shimmer through it and then lastly is this wild one that i've been wearing a lot recently which is uh, tropicalia tropicalia i think it's called uh on my benefit blush whatever's and my mac palettes that i've just shoved in there uh, but that's basically it i know lots of people had questions about this unfortunately the place that i bought it you can't get it anymore um there was someone on ebay that was selling uh, i think they were selling like spice racks or something that they were making themselves and i contacted them and said could you make me something to spec for my nail polishes and they said yes um, I gave them my measurements. Unfortunately, I measured an OPI because I knew that was the tallest nail polish and I wanted to get an OPI to fit in there, but they didn't make it quite big enough. So unfortunately, this is as many OPIs that I can fit on the shelf. Ideally, I'd like to have had it so I could put OPI in any of these shelves. So if I got more, they could kind of move down, but they can't. Um, so great as this is, I wish it was bigger. I wish I'd got another one and I wish it was slightly uh, deeper for or taller deeper for taller polishes is that what I mean whatever um but you can't get it anymore but I would suggest that if there are any places on eBay that are selling woodwork type items that you could get them to make you something for spec because that's that's the only way I did it and then they just sent me like a bill and I paid it and it came and it was amazing and I made a video about it at the time I was so excited but I've checked and the seller's not selling anymore unfortunately I'll probably find something similar so they are all my nail polishes apart from uh, the hidden ones I hope you enjoyed the video I know so many people have had questions you're probably going to still have loads of questions but like I say I'll take them all and maybe create some kind of FAQ video with all your questions I think I'm going to film um, my what's in my cupboard video again today but it's going to be a while before I film my makeup collection because I really need to get this room tidied because it's a total total mess you would just die if you saw it um, so I'm going to kind of put all that stuff together and tidy up in here then I'll do my makeup collection next week week after maybe but I'm going to do um, kind of a little tour of my cupboard as I mentioned I was going to do in my empties video but I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you haven't already please go subscribe and hit the button above and check out my links below bye